Okay. Hey, we just we're gonna work on a cup habit number two. So I was gonna make a video about getting fired, and then I found this. So I'm gonna read this and make two videos about getting fired. My video and this thing first. All right. So transgender ex cashier sues Dunkin' Donuts for saying managers let co-workers and patreons harass her and then fire her. All right. There's a video, um, this came across CNN, um, I think today's the 13th, because it's dated for November the 13th, came across at 4 p.m. CNN, a transgender woman is suing Dunkin' Donuts and one of the of its Philadelphia franchises after the woman alleges the management in, I think this is Bethlehem, B-E-T-H-L-E-H-E-M, Bethlehem. Store allowed customers to harass and attack her, then fired her when she complained and left work to protect herself. The federal civil rights law filed Friday in Pennsylvania Eastern District requests a jury trial on unspecific, unspecified damages. I mean, I take these glasses off, huh? For more than one hundred fifty thousand dollars, it outlines claims that the harassment and hostile work environment. Wrongful termination and retail laboratory discharge. I probably didn't say that right. And failed to accommodate her HIV status among its 18 counts. Referred as Jane Doe in the lawsuit, the plaintiff is described as an HIV positive woman of color. Doe worked at Dunkin' Donuts in the spring of 2018 before she was fired and alleged the lawsuit she endured. I guess I better spell this because I don't know how to say that shit. E-P-I-T-H-E-T-S. Such as, I guess those are insults, but that's not how you spell insults. She was insulted. Uh... With words such as tranny, the N word, and faggot. While she requested the customer's superiors, the customers, the superiors, and the co workers to refer to, to her preferred name and pronounced it, ignored the shift. The shift leader also instructed her to stop using the woman's bathroom. The lawsuit says allegedly harassment. Ooh, God, man! It peaks in three customers, including a former co-worker betrayed her. Excuse me, does not betray, does berated her with slurs and threatened to kill her. The lawsuit says the former colleague also shoved her and says Doe called her manager, who told her to go home if she didn't feel safe. Which she did, according to the lawsuit. Days later, she was fired. Dunkin' Donuts values diversity. Company says, uh, the company that owns the franchise, Triangle Donuts. Triangle Donuts. LLC said she was fired for violating the company's time off policy in the lawsuit says two numbers linked to Triangle Donuts were both disconnected Tuesday according to the number Triangle's owners listed in the Dunkin Donuts franchise disclosure documents was also disconnected. Know your identity terms 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Know your identity terms. New terms entering the cultural relaxation as people I'm going to spell this because I can't say it. I guess it's indoor, but that's not how I think you spell indoor. But E N D E A V O R to codify their sexual orientation or gender. These defines and which has been edited primarily for the L B G T Q. Um, advocacy group, the Trevor Protection and the Gender Fluent Definition from 
dictionary.com. Visit the Trevor Project for more details. One of ten, two of ten, three of ten, four of ten, five of ten. Duncan Donner spokesman Michelle King declined to comment on the litigation, but the Dunkin' Donuts locations are independently owned that neither were the plaintiff nor the defendant or the employee by the company. King declined to prove, I mean to provide contact information for Triangle Donuts. I'm still not getting over that Triangle Donuts because if you're from Charlottesville, you know that there was a gay bar called Triangles. Don't ask. I've never been there. I only heard about it. Okay. We of our franchises provide ourselves a diverse workforce and we strive to create exclusive work cultures or franchises required by the law. Other franchises agreed the company and the law incorporated the statement said and Bethlehem attorney Victor good guy S C O M I L L I O Why do lawyers have these names? Alright. Who court documents say the representative and the defendant did not return a phone message. A lawsuit alleges of Mr misgender slurs. Shortly after Doe took the cashier position of the donuts on the 4th Street around March 18th, the shift leader called her by her birth name and used a male pronoun to describe her even after Doe asked her to stop. The lawsuit says the shift leader also referred to Doe as dude. It says the assistant manager and the manager also misgenderified Mr. Miss ah, crap misgendered you know what let me spell that for you y'all figure this shit out m-i-s-g-e-n-d-e-r-e-d -E 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 her despite her repeated request to stop Doe alleges customers did the same when Doe corrected them the customer complaint the management the Patreon shouldn't have to um, use Doe pronouns because Doe was not a girl, which the manager did not contest the lawsuit says. Another incident of the Patreon also, they didn't want him to serve them according to the lawsuit rather than defend their employee. The shift leader assistant manager moved her to the back of the shop out of the view of the customers and the lawsuit says. After the shift leader, Doe stopped using the woman's bathroom, saying that they didn't feel comfortable with you going in there. The harassment intensified in the lawsuit alleges. Co-workers tried to get Doe's in the Doe's face aggressively and called her a nigger and threatened to beat her up. According to the lawsuit, the customers, including the former co-worker, the subject Doe, was homophobic slurs and said, I'll kill you, you bitch ass. It says, oh my god. After the former co-worker pushed her, Doe reported the incident to the police and called the manager and told her, if you don't feel safe, the lawsuit says, Doe did just that. She went home. Captain Benjamin Hackett of Bethlehem Police Department told CNN he could not find an incident report on April or May matching Doe's complaint, but he noted that the particular Dunkin' Donuts is situation in the Boris district. It's a subject of numerous calls to police. Without Doe's name, without Doe's actual name, it would be difficult to find a report, he said. The employee says Doe violated company policy. In the days of Doe called the police, left the work, blah, 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 for the Dunkin' Donuts. After Doe filed the complaint for the Equal Employment, Opportunity Commission. The manager also told the commission that the employee shouldn't have corrected the customer because the customer is always right in the lawsuit. I'm going to stop right there. Fuck that policy of customers always right. I'm sorry. I got to interrupt what I'm reading for that, that note right there. Fuck no. The customer is not always right. I don't give a shit what y'all say. The customer is not always right. Sadly, it is illegal for you to punch them in the mouth. But the customer is not always right. There is a line of respect, and you should always follow it, especially when you're a customer. All right, moving back on. I did not and will not 
correct my customers, the manager told the consumer, according to the lawsuit. Triangle Donuts told the commission that Doe was fired for violating the company policy and that employees must request time off two weeks in advance, the lawsuit says. Doe does not believe this was the actual cause of her firing, according to the lawsuit. Rather, she feels this her discharge was motivated by her sex, her gender identification, and her gender stereotyping. In an attempt to rebuff the customers and the fellow employees in the lawsuit, Triangle Donuts' time off policy is problematic. However, according to the lawsuit, because HIV positive people may face complications, they can't foresee weeks in advance. The Triangle also has no anti-relation or anti-retaliation policy. I don't know if I said that right. Anyway, lawsuit. The EEOC sent Doe a notice to her right to the former employer last month saying the termination of the process has changed. Asked to elaborate, so the person James Ryan said the EEOC complaints are confidential and the commission is prohibited from commenting on them. He did not provide an answer to following up the email suggested information on how the commission decides to terminate or charge with the termination in titles. Okay, so if you go find that, there's also a video on this. Okay, so I'm not sure if this woman in the video in the hospital bed is that woman, and if you wanna find that out, you go ahead. So I'm gonna talk about this, because this kinda of pisses me off to a high level of pissivity. Okay. I've been fired. I have been fired for less. Trust me. I got fired on my day off once. Though, yeah, once. <laughs> yes, it can really happen. It's not no Hollywood bullshit. You know, it, it actually can happen. And, um, freaking, what game was I going to? Sorry. So, hey, I feel for this person. I feel really bad for Jane Doe here. Not just because she's in the Alphabet Squad and was fired more or less because she was in the Alphabet Squad and because she's HIV positive and shit like that. But because, you know, if if you do something stupid and you get fired, or as I like to say, if you earn being fired, because I have earned being fired, you know, I'm not going to lie about it. Sometimes you just reach fuck it. And when I got fired on my day off, I will honestly say, I probably earned it. Alright? It was a Christmas thing. We'll go through that in the next video. But, um, you know, it's, it's really messed up when you are when you are fired, like, for sexual stuff, or like, because you're not sure what your gender is, or that kind of thing, you know, I don't really think that that gives you merit to fire anyone. However, I'm also not an employee of Triangle Donuts. So, let's get into the guts and glory of this shit, alright? Let's get, like, deep down into the guts of glory. We have a, a customer who's calling an employee out of their name. Calling this person bad things by their gender dysphoria. Alright? And I don't find that cool in the first place. Alright? I know a few um, people who live that lifestyle. I'm kin to a few people who live that lifestyle. And that's like some horrible ass shit. It's bad enough we normal people, we straight people, as we like to call ourselves, consider them to bad enough be abnormal. We consider them dangerous. We consider them uh, plagued and then... We don't know if it's a choice and where was the one that shit in their face. 
Uh, let me explain something to y'all. No matter what you believe of someone, people deserve to be treated fairly. All right. Now, from what I've read, and I'll probably make a second part to this part alone. Matter of fact, I should do that because we're at the 15 minute mark because I was reading so fucking slow. Um, going into that before we go to the second video. I've been bullied all my life, and I'm not gay. I was bullied when people thought I was gay in school, and they made things out that wasn't true. So in the next video, I'm going to go deep into that. All right. Get ready.